got a new fascinating image from James Webb Telescope using its near infrared cameras alongside mid infrared cameras to show this particular galaxy that is peculiar in a way. It is showing an interesting characteristic of the clash of the titans. And when you think about that, nope, it's not about the movie, of course, but it's rather about some particular properties that are performing a specific action here and we see that this particular galaxy which is abbreviated to be the NGC 3256 is really dominant in this image right here and this shows that it has the size that is similar to our own Milky Way and this is located around 120 million light years away from us that is located at this region which is the Vela and it is an occupant of the Hydra Centaurus supercluster. Now you might wonder why this particular galaxy is quite special. It is special in a way because despite the fact that you see how peaceful it is in terms of the hazy looking of its galaxy alongside the light showing, it reveals a particular past history that had performed an interesting action here which is known as an ancient cosmic clash where we had some two galaxies coming together or people say two equally massive spiral galaxies clashing together and this here was actually done around the year i would say around 500 million years ago now this tremendous past of this particular galaxy is captured in a long tendril of shining dust and stars which extend outwards from the main body of the galaxy now the sprinkling of red and orange regions spread across the galaxy contains young stars created in the measure that are irradiating small dust grains which then emits infrared light that is captured in astonishing details by the web instrument now further out there are extended tiny draws features that are mostly stars pulled out of the galaxies now this article further discusses about how galaxies they actually collide each other and this actually is explained in terms of understanding that hey they do have stars in there but not that the stars are actually making direct contact with each other but rather the gases and dust that are around the stars intertwine with each other in a way and this here shows that when this collision is happening also it's similar to how we have gas of clouds that we see in our atmosphere intertwining or mixing together to form a bigger system and this here reflects what is happening in this particular galaxy where you have this particular gas and dust of the two galaxies mixing together to create an environment that fosters the creation of young stars as it is shown in using these infrared cameras here by James Webb Telescope where we see that at the center there are vibrant activity of creation of young stars due to the gas and dust integrating or colliding together and so this rich activity here is really one of the reasons why collision of galaxies can actually trigger formation of new stars in terms of how this observation is one of the several which take a detailed look at the physics of star formations and most importantly the black hole growth because you have one supermassive galaxy colliding with another supermassive galaxy that are spiral both of them have black holes and so when these black holes are coming closer together question is what is the result going to look like could it look like of course a massive black hole with that influence the creation or development of cosmic webs like we talked about on our previous video and many more things that may come up in terms of the connections between this particular galaxy formation to other galaxies formation that is around that particular system hoping to transform astronomers understanding of galactic 
evolution now captured a selection of luminous infrared galaxies like this one right here will help the astronomical community to understand how web can unveil the complex histories of nearby star forming galaxies now there is an image that shows the comparison between the web infrared image to that of the hubble image and the hubble image shows a little bit more of the white brown integration at the center but at the web we actually have more of the red orange integration of colors so i'll say one versus the other shows the contrast in terms of the reveal of young star formation according to web versus not that much revealed here based on the hubble space telescope image right here furthermore here the left side image is looking at the james webb telescope that combines the near infrared camera with that of the mid infrared instrument and this here shows the burst of star formation and new star radiating enormously brightly in the infrared wavelength however on the right side or the image shows the hubble space telescope advanced camera for surveys and the wide field camera 3 and this here is looking at the visible layers out in the data of the dark trends of dark dust and molecule gases that spins around the center of the two merging galaxies now many of the young infrared emitted stars produced by the collision are obscured in the visible wavelength by these dark dusts. Overall, we hope you found this really informative about the clash of the titans as revealed by James Webb Telescope. Not too far away from where we live. Oh, I'm kidding. Kind of a little bit far away. 120 million light years away. That's quite a far away distance. But let's know your thoughts about all this in the comment section down below. What do you think is the impact of this in terms of your understanding about star growth formation or young star formation alongside maybe creation of supermassive black holes that may impact other black holes around its area and maybe creating some interesting cosmic web that we discussed on our previous video all the same hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts about this the other way we can talk to you all soon stay smart as always and believe in yourselves